<clears throat> Alright, this video is about how to set up a PID block in Allen Bradley and in Siemens. This is the Allen Bradley PLC. And then <clears throat> what we're doing is we're just controlling water flow through the valve, which is air powered. You know, as valve air goes in, goes the valve, and vice versa. This is a Siemens processor right here. Siemens. And this is Siemens HMI. So. Let's start with Siemens. Uh, this is my this where pretty much is the human interface device, and pretty much say you wanna increase your valve, so you know you go in auto mode. And then this is the reason for the pot here. As you increase the pot, you see the set point, which your pot is your set point, increases, and your process value increases, which increases the CVP, which is control variable, which is the output. And um and this is the HMI we have three modes. Auto remote, which is your pot as you increase decrease, your valve your valve decrease and increases. And auto local click it, which can up increases it at percentage, two percent, three percent, decreases whatever you want, one percent, five percent, doesn't really matter, it's all about the programmer. And then the manual mode, which is at 160. And you know, controls the manual. Every system should have a manual mode. And what the local mode does is just for there for calibration. You know what I'm saying? Say you, you read 50 and it's not reading 50. You do a local and configure your flow until it's 50. That's all local does. <clears throat> so this is what uh, PID looks like. PID block looks like in Siemens. This is in, it's simple to add. Uh, let's go to another screen. All right. So how you add one is you go to technology objects and then new objects. You got motion and PID. You want the PID. There's the PID compact and PID three step. Um, three steps are same concept, uh, a little bit more difficult to to make. But right now we're doing the compact one. And then you get this screen. And um, this PID. You can do pretty much anything. Uh, temperature, pressure, light flow, I mean, goes this list of these density. And for this lab, we use flow, fixing gallons per minute. And then your process value. Press where you input all your, you input in all your data. You know, all your, you know, your skill, where, you know, that's where you measure it in the lab. So what you want to do is, Download it to your PLC. And then just make sure your set point's at 100. And you want to commission it. How you commission it is by clicking that button. Right here, clicking this button. Brings you here, and all you do is you click the. You click one of pre-tune and um, this is where you click start and then you get this areas over here the process that in Win 62 from tune you do upload because you upload the parameters and then you do download <coughs> and now what this uh, what this pre-tuning did was fill out these numbers your PID parameters. That's that's all that this did. I mean, it's like, it, that's all that did. Just fill out these numbers because when you first enter a PID black, you have it, it comes out like this. You know, very vague numbers. So that's what the pre-tuning does, which is really good. I mean, that's that's what you want. So that's. 
That's that's um Siemens PID black. So let's go to that and grab it. So as uh, see we got disconnect uh, Siemens, connect Adam Bradley. So now we're ready to go for Adam Bradley. And this is the Adam Bradley uh, PLC. And same thing over here, the only thing is we don't got the HMI, but we got the software for the HMI. And it does the same thing. Remote mode, which is your pot. And then the local, which as you increase the same concept for calibration used mostly. And then you got your manual, which you want it fully open. And how a PID block looks in Allen Bradley is like this. So this is a Allen Bradley's PID block. And how you add one, let's go offline first, is you go to uh, your main program and then the PID block is going to be under um, right here, Elements Group Special, and it's this one right here. Just add it anywhere. I mean, those preferences. And then, this is where you put your tags in your process value, you know, your tie bag, control variable. And then, where the Allen Bradley, I'm um, where the Siemens, you had a pre tune here, you gotta input all the. all your values, which is right here, your set point. Here, there's no pre tuning. All you do is you, all these numbers you gotta calculate your, yourself find them out, your configurations, and then if you did that right, you should have um, a PID bag that controls pretty much whatever you want. So, those are the two PID bags from both Adam Bradley and Siemens. I hope you enjoyed this video.